Hey guys, we're back with Hadriel the Healer, the Paladin Imperial Badass. Anyways, uh, it's Kaisips here. We're going to continue on. Um, people might wonder why I've moved from... I was over there in the Florentia's bedroom, and now I'm at the front door of the Dawn Guard. So I went, and now that I built my bed, I went and moved my wife and all my possessions to my new house. I still have my butterfly in the jar on me. And I stashed everything, sorted, got it all sorted, and then I just have stuff on me to sell. All kinds of apparel, really all kinds of junk. So we're going to do some of that in this video, and we're going to actually look into making more uh, ingredients. But before we do that, uh, we're going to talk to Florentius, and he's going to give us the next quest. Uh, that's him sitting at the table right there. Okay, Florentius. What can I do to help? Yeah. So we have to do the assignment for Isran. Um... Eastran's assignment is there's only one assignment Eastran has for you, and it is to protect, save the Jarl. I'll let you guys just listen to this. The Jarl's in danger. A vampire plays as a visiting advisor to the court. Destroy it before it's able to complete its foul business. But be warned, the Jarl's guards are unaware of the threat and will treat violence against this advisor as a crime. Even with all my preparation, we can't reach a girl. Okay. So, before we do that, though, I'm just going to run over and uh, sell some stuff to Serene and Gunmar, because we might as well. Also, is there some iron ingots here? There is. Good. We need a stack of these. Uh, how many did I get there? How many do I have? Eight? I need 20. Um, yeah, let's sell some stuff. What can you afford? Or what will you take? Oh, good. You'll take some of this stuff. Should really keep the gloves. I'm gonna need them in the future, and I should keep the necklaces and stuff. I should stash those at some point. There we go. All right. So we're gonna do the uh, the vampire. This is my stuff, yeah. The vampire advisor thing first, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and do. There's a reward from the last quest. We're gonna go ahead and do a couple other things after that. Uh, you can have that and that and that. And do you actually have any iron ore for sale? Only four, eh? Because I need some more ingots, but ingots are so much more expensive than ore. Um, okay, we'll buy the four ore. Turn them into ingots over here at the smelter. Perfect. Alright. And uh, doesn't Florentius do some buying and selling? Uh, he'll probably buy some stuff from us. What do we got? Uh, I'll hang on to that. Any other random junk to sell? Oh yeah, we got some potions. These are from, uh, a couple of these are from, um, Viola's house. Because Viola had, uh, I looted her place pretty fully before we left. I'm gonna give her this scroll if it, oh, she can't afford it. Anyways. Alright, so let's go, uh, save Layla Loggiver from her, uh, from her fate. we do that first? Actually, maybe there's one other thing we want to do first. Maybe there's one other thing we want to do first. Just because it's going to take some time uh, to do, and if we're going to be away from home, we might as well do it. Uh, yeah, I'll just... No, I don't want to go to Rifted. Uh, I'm going to go to Windhelm. I just need to get a little bit more iron ore. And I do need some Corundum ingots. I'm not sure if I have any at home. I'll take a look, though. Uh, I need to wait till it's business time so I can shop with the, the local blacksmith. And we'll get uh, we'll get some ores and stuff, guys. There is an iron ore vein by my house that I can actually mine out. Twelve. I just want to have like twenty. I just want to have as many as I need right now. I don't want to do a bunch of dick docking around, you know. Get some iron ore. Two. Mm, corundum ore. He's got two as well. I need three corundum ingots. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shell out, guys. We're just gonna pay pay him off here. Um. How many of these do I have? Twelve. We need twenty. Ugh, I don't. They're so expensive. I don't want to buy them. Okay, so that gives us fourteen. So we need six more. Whatever. Whatever. We're gonna like this is gonna make us an outrageous amount of money. So let's go uh, make these two ore into ingots, and uh, we'll sell some stuff here too to uh, Narenye. 
Um, we should probably go get the beggar bonus. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna get rid of some of these robes. Got a bunch of these too. Those don't weigh very much though. The robes don't weigh very much either, but there's just so many of them. Sell these one at a time. Getting ripped off for 30 gold? No, I don't think so. I don't think so, Tim. You can have one of these. You can have two of these. Perfect. Yeah, we still have 4,600 gold. Okay, so... Three corundum, 20 iron. We got some nails here. So, actually, we didn't even need all that iron because we have some nails because some of it's going to go to nails. All right, back to the homestead. So, regarding getting logs, guys, for when, when you're working with your house... Um, I looked into this wolf is here every time I've been practicing. Come here. I have Viola was out here fighting at the one time and I was all paranoid she was gonna die. Um, so yeah, regarding getting nails, or no logs, you can get logs for free. Um, I tried to do it, but there's a bug where they just don't appear. So I tried, and I did it like three times at a couple different mills, and there's just a bug where sometimes they just don't appear. You get them for free. To get them for free, you have to do a favor for somebody. So we've done a favor for Hurt by chopping wood for him, or her, so she'll let us do it for free there, but it just wasn't working out. Okay, so we need 50 quarried stone. How much quarried stone we got here? 16? Okay, so we need 50. So this is going to take us a second, uh, a quick second here. It mines fast, guys. It's not really slow. Like you get four per three hits, or what? This must be that beautiful skyrim weather. All right, it's bugging out because it's not showing me what I'm getting. Did I get anything even? No, I didn't. That's freaking weird. Okay. All right, I'll just do it this way. I'm not sure if there's a limit on these things, actually. I should have checked that. My understanding was you can just mine them forever. If this thing runs out on me, I'm going to be a very sad, sad guy. So how many did I have? I had 16. So I need 36 more. Good thing 36. Serana. What the fuck is this chick doing? How much do I have? 36 more I need. Oh, okay, wow, okay, I have 68. All right, all right, sorry guys. I'm retarded, I just kept smashing it. Um, and now we need some clay. So we don't need as much clay, we only need 20 clay. So I'm just gonna try to let this do, it's the same thing as that, I'm just gonna let this do itself. You hit it three times, you should get four clay. That's four, we already had some in the, in the little stash there, so I'll just, I'll, I'll get like another 20 anyways. What the heck? Why does he keep doing that? I'm just gonna get as much as we need right now, and we'll have extra, I guess. It's fine. It's gonna cost us about two grand. Okay, cool. I'm like overloaded now. This is awesome. How much clay do I have, though? 32? That's more than enough. Let's just drop, like, I don't know. Nine, there we go. What? Alright, whatever. We're just gonna walk it over to the chest. It's weird, I dropped it and I picked it right back up. I didn't hit any buttons. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. So we'll stash 18 of these. I remember when I first came back to Skyrim, guys, and uh, it was special edition or whatever. What do we need? We need 19 of these, so 13 of these can go in. Um, I... Uh, I saw this clay and I was like, what is this? And I started mining it and it just kept mining forever and I kept getting more and more and I was like, oh, is this like unlimited resources? This is awesome. And it turned out it was just silly. See, my wife's here now, guys. And we got our house, we got our ingredients in there, we got soul gems over here. Anyways. So we're gonna buy building materials because like I said, I couldn't get the logs to cut for free. I'll see to it at once. Is there anything else you need? Yeah, I need more lumber. So unfortunately, we only get 20, and I need 65, so I'm going to have to pay 800 gold there. No, just that. There we go. So your logs appear over here. I'll tell you how many you have. You don't have to pick them up or anything. And, alright, so we're going to build um, in the darkness of night. We're going to build the main hall, guys. 
So, main hall. Let's do it. Turn around and take a peek. There's our little border, guys. They make a little border for the main hall. Oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to use all my ingots and stuff to make what I need. So, I need six hinges. So, then you get two. So, one. Six hinges. Three sets of iron fittings. Oh. Three sets of iron fittings. One. Two. Three. Uh, three locks. That's what the corundum's for. And 105 nails. Our smithing leveled up doing that. Nice. There we go. So this should give us everything we need now. I, I planned it all out. So, main hall. Make that. Make the foundation. Make the floor. Make the framing. Make the first level. Make the second level. Roof. Second level walls. Main hall roof. Done. Let's turn around and take a look. Hey, hey, check it out, guys. Castle Kyseps. You guys heard of Castle Karstag? This is Castle fucking Kyseps. Are these mineable yet? Or, uh, can I take these? No. No, I did this when I brought my wife back here. I, uh, harvested these. Mineable. I'm fucking retarded. Alright. Next part. Drafting table. West wing, baby. West wing. Greenhouse. So, we're adding the greenhouse to the west wing. Uh, if I plan this out right, we should have enough to do it all. Greenhouse doors. Foundation. And roof. Boom, bam. Greenhouse is figured out, guys. So the greenhouse is just a part of the west wing. That's it right there, kind of thing. Um, check it out. Free Luna Moss. Okay, so... What we're going to do is we're going to run inside and do one more thing. Before we head off and save the Jarl. So the greenhouse is going to give us another... I think it's 18 more planting spots, guys. On top of the 11 that are outside. It's fucking crazy. How much money do we have? 3,800? That's a perfect. It's more than enough. So, I would like you to buy furnishings for my house. I'd like you to furnish the green hall. Greenhouse. Greenhouse. Okay, so I'm going to go show you where the greenhouse is going to be. Check it out. This is all unfurnished because we don't. I'm not paying 3,500 for this shit right now. This is going to be the greenhouse, guys. And it is going to give us tons of ingredients. Alright, I just want to get that done. Just to have it uh, figured out. Actually, I should take a quick check here and make sure we have what we need. Um, let's see. We have some dragon's tongue. We do. Do we have fly amanita? We do. Do we have scaly foliotia? I need. I, I might. Those might be limited. Three. Yes. I need eight of these. So I'm gonna have to go get some of those. Not a mad rush, but I'm gonna have to go get some of those. All right. Let's go save Layla. can't click on the misspell key. Okay. We'll actually be able to probably sell some stuff to uh, some people and the people of Riften. Um, I'm going to do that after, though. Put on my... Actually, I'm going to put on my necklace of the night. So, guys. So, this is a really annoying quest. Get our sword out here. Um, I did a practice run and tested my metal doing it, so I know how to do it. And I will show you. So, Layla's just going to be sitting at her throne. Hi. This fucking guy right here. Can't even talk to him. Anyways. You are in danger. A vampire has infiltrated your court. So, you have to find evidence. Good journey. The only way to find evidence, guys, is to, uh, right there, 26%. He's got orders about the evidence. So, there's not any other way to do it. The only other way is to try to kill him discreetly so no one sees you. And then you just ignore what Layla says and you go back to, shut up. You go back to, um, oh my god, will you guys shut up? You go back to Easteron and he gives you the reward. So we're going to quick save, guys, and uh, we're, we're just going to pickpocket this all right all right yeah we're just gonna qu auto quick save pickpocket this because uh that's the only way to do this guys yeah 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 got it so actually so that's one thing that's a misconception guys when you're pickpocketing someone it doesn't matter you can be seen it might make it a little easier but 
if they can see you, you can still swipe stuff from them if your pickpocket's good enough or you hit the percentage. Um, one concern you might have, guys, I always talk about how I don't want to level up stuff like pickpocketing, etc., etc. Pickpocketing is based on value. Look how much we got, guys. It's based on value. That note was value zero, so we got nothing from it. Let's read it. Oh, yeah, I have so much fucking stupid notes. Um, it's not even vampire's note, it's orders. Sojourn a while in Riften. Infiltrate the court of Layla Lawgiver. If you can, gently guide the Jarl toward our best interests. If that proves impossible, invite her or a member of her court into the family. It's far easier to direct those sharing the bloodthirst toward our shared interests. Alright, I'm gonna do another quick save. So, you tell Layla. Well, I trust you'll take care of this unwanted visitor. My guards will not interfere with you carrying out my justice. Okay. So her guards won't bother you when you do this. Um, we're going to, uh... A little practice swing, apparently. We're going to get Stender's stuff on. You know what annoys me? Is that I have Stend I can put on Stender's aura. And if I stand next to him, he doesn't get hurt until we start fighting him. Alright, do a quick save now when we're ready to go into combat. This is so weird. The last one I fought was way stronger. Weird. Last time I did it, that guy almost killed me. I was actually concerned. So he always has an enchanted item. Oh, and he's got a soul gemming steel dagger too. Cool. Yeah, you got fucking torn up. So you'd think he'd get something from Layla for this, but he talked to her and she, nothing. She doesn't even know. It's like it didn't fucking happen. Alright, we're going to go sell some stuff to the city of Riften and uh, head back to the Dawnguard and talk to them about some stuff. So, our uh, our house, Carl, building, um, adding our furnishings and stuff, it takes a while. I think it can take like seven in-game days. It takes it takes a while, so we're not going to rush back there. It isn't Bassianus, but uh, let's talk to my favorite girl, Groka, the sassy one. I'm not here for any training. Uh, these are still no value. I'm going to keep that in case I ever need it. Uh, I don't think I have a soul gem filling thing. I'll keep that. Um, what else do we got? You can buy all the vampire stuff, right? Yeah. I need to keep the rings. can disenchant that at some point. Sell these one at a time. Because I feel like eventually we're going to want to get her. Oh, Jesus. But I click on all. Actually, I want to get rid of all the books. I always forget about them and then I wonder why I'm getting weighed down. There, nothing else has weight. Yeah, okay, we're good. Uh, scroll, you can take that too. I just like to remove any of the extra things. Uh, you can take the straw. What else we got here? Um, yeah, more of these, eh? 114? Yeah, you can take an amulet of Stendar too. Those are all from doing that quest in Rune Vault. Every single uh, possessed person in there had an amulet of Oh, I should have. I should have given the beggar a coin now. I forgot to do that, guys. My bad, my bad. Anyways, let's continue on here. Um, yeah, get rid of more of these if I can. Yeah, so we're still up to like 30 and under where we started off here. Carry weight's in good shape. We have fucking four torches, though. Um, I'm not looking for a handout. Let's go back to Eastron. He's going to give us an enchanted item as a reward. And then we're going to talk to Florentius, and hopefully he will uh, tell us about a Dawnguard artifact we can get. Be on your guard at all times. Maybe now. You got stamina damage. Still not going to talk to him. Going to go find Florentis. One thing about the trolls too, guys, the armored troll is following me around, is if you don't, uh, is there like a ton of Edar cheese wheels in here? Oh, there is. Jesus criminy, I didn't know there were so many of these in here. Wow, there's three more? Alright, people that don't know, I have a fucking obsession with Edar cheese, wheel cheese, or whatever. Um, it, uh, 
it can make a really cool fortify magicka food but you need uh you need moon sugar and moon sugar is expensive all right buddy what can i do to help speak with gunma he has something for you god damn it there's not really any way to control this, guys. I've tried quick saving before I talk to him. It doesn't work. I, you know, the only thing I maybe would work is if I quick saved outside of the dawn guard, walked in, and then talked to him. But that's like a lot of repetition. The odds just aren't in my favor, so I'm not, I'm not dorking around with that. Hey, what I was saying before, one thing with the armor troll, if you don't get enough combat, he'll just take off. He'll be like, "Fuck this," and he just leaves. Oh no! What can I do to help? Ugh. Okay. Oh, I should have asked him what the vampire is doing. So... The one thing about this whole... This quest, guys, we're gonna go try it. Um, we have to do it discreetly, and we don't sneak. So... Where is he? Where is this vampire at? Hide and seek. Where are you hanging out? Oh, Ivor's dead? That's not too bad. Um, yeah, Ivor's dead's not too bad. We can try that. We can try Ivor's dead. Um, one thing I'm going to do before going to Ivor's dead, actually, is I'm going to go to Riften, and I'm going to give the beggar a coin, and I'm going to get the Shrine of Debella, because I think if you hit a Persuade option, you can convince this dude to follow you. This discreet traveler. Actually, what time is it? I need to get some more scaly folitia too. I should do that. I should just see if the merchant has some for sale. If he doesn't, you can just go pick some. All those fallen birch trees, guys, look like birch trees. They're white. Shut up. No, I'm not here for lessons. Yeah, I wish to buy some scaly folitia, which you should have tons of because it's all over this place, guys. You don't have any, eh? There's some moon trigger, though. It's pricey. Um, you want anything of mine? No. Alrighty. Yeah, so we're gonna give the bigger coin, tap the shrine of Debella, and then go to Iverstead, and hopefully the, neither of those will fall off by then. Hey, buddy. I appreciate you being in the right spot. And hey, Alga's bunkhouse is right here. Perfect. Yeah, hopefully, um, I can convince this dude to follow me. I think you're able to do that. So weird that I can take that lavender. I still don't. I don't remember doing a favor for how God. Did I do one, guys? Can't you bother me at my armor stand Shut up, Groka. Need something? What do you okay, so this should put our speech to 50. 52. Speech has been going up. I almost want to get that allure perk, but uh, you just never know. Do I have anything to put this into right now? Mm. See me in the market. Yeah, we're not gonna not gonna rush on that right now. We know we know our way how to make money in Skyrim. I don't need to. Speed ahead too much. Okay. Where is this trout? Is he hanging over here? This is where Snelf lives. Or not Snelf, um... Some fucking crazy guy lives. Do I have the quest on? Okay, now he's here. Why is it directing me up here, though? This is where the beggar guy lives. Oh. Wait, what? Okay, I'm confused. Alright, I'm gonna go look around in the town and see if he's just running around here, guys. Who's that? Clemic? Is he at the bar, maybe? I don't know where this guy is. It says he's here, but then it also says he's somewhere else. Oh, there he is. Yeah, see? Let's see. Why? What do you want? What are you talking about? I don't know anything about any... Why? What do you want? Settle down. No need for threats. Lead the way. But I'm warning you. I'm not nice. afraid to fight you if I have to. Okay. So hopefully this dude's gonna just follow us and we can just lead him off into the wild beyond and then kill him. 
Come on, buddy. You said you'd follow me. Let's go. Come on. Let's quick save here. I'm not scared of one little vampire anyways, guys. It's not, it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, put my heavy armor, because I'm not going to need the other thing on. Far enough away now? I hope. If I just kill him, if I'll get rid of the bounty. No. Okay. We didn't lead him far enough into the wilderness, guys. We have to lead him out really far, apparently. Come on. I was hoping uh, he was far enough out, but we'll just keep leading him and leading him and leading him. Could never know. We could run into a bear that'll just do it for us. Come on. Keep doing quick saves as we get out here. Actually, we can pick some scaly folithia out here, actually. So those birch trees, just to find dead ones. Where'd he go? Hey, what the fuck? Oh, the guards still coming here? They are. Fuck. I don't know how... He's not following me far enough. Where is he? What do you want in here? Why? What do you want? Settle down. No need for threats. Lead the way. But I'm, I'm not afraid to fight you if I have to. That's fine. Yeah, good. Okay, good. He's following us way out here now. I guess I just had to refresh that. Hey, where are you going? There's no guards in the range. They're just just campy. Last witness killed. Perfect. Soul gem filled, and uh, we got vampire sanguinaris or whatever. So, uh, all cured. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I'm not messing with no bear. Uh, my troll and Serana can go get him though. Scaly Felithia on this tree, on this tree. Oh, I guess. Okay, I guess they're going for the bear, whatever. Oh, shit. It's the way I. Oh, there's a, a wolf over there, too. I wonder if I can just get this bear from, from the backside here. It's only a regular bear, but. Honey Strand Cave is full of bears, guys, for people that, uh, Serana killing a wolf or something. Oh, yeah, okay, perfect. There must be something else up there. I don't know what it is. No interest in finding out. I'm just looking for the Scaly Felitia, because we need five more. Usually, like I said, you, follow, you find it on the felled birch trees, guys. So it's worth looking around for. Um, and yeah, like I said, this is kind of an area where you'd see that stuff. This area and outside of Riften is usually pretty... Yeah, here's some. Who's there? Frostbite spider. I can hear it. Oh, okay. I thought I heard it. So I got two more. I need a... Uh, it's just a wolf. Huh. Even though that vampire guy has no equipment on him, he's still pretty useful. Um, so I need three more. How many I got? I had three at home, right? Yeah, so two more. It's an imperial camp there. Okay, one more after this one. And so what we're going to be doing, guys, is Scaly Folithia, or whatever it's called, Flyaminita and Dragon's Tongue, is the one of the most expensive potions you can make um, that purely come from ingredients that can be planted in the garden or the greenhouse. Um, there's one more recipe that is more expensive. Uh, it is Creep Cluster and a couple other things. The only problem with that recipe, guys, is... Um, 
Jesus. Yeah, the only problem with that recipe, guys, is there's a bug, I guess, with special edition with creep cluster. When you plant it, it doesn't always. It's like not harvestable. Whoa. Some bandits here, dude. Turn around. A, sing a regular bandit's gonna try to kill my troll? Are you crazy? You never. You don't know what a troll is, you fucking numb nuts? Not taking his battle axe. I don't want to take their battle axes. What's going on here? Oh, that's an Imperial soldier. I'm quick saving before I uh, do this in case I hit the Imperial guy. Um, yeah, there's a bug with the creep cluster, apparently. So if you try to uh, harvest it, you like won't be able to. It's all buried in the ground and some other nonsense. So I'm not going to bother with that one. I'm just going to do the second best one. I'm gonna need one more scaly foliti. Uh, is there one on here? No, it's only on ones that are dead. So the chop, the top, the the top needs to be cut off, or it needs to be laying on the ground. There's another bear or something. Oh, there's a dead one right there, though. I don't want to fight any more bears. Did I already harvest? I probably already harvested these ones. I'm just gonna save myself the trouble, guys. I'm just gonna fast travel to Riften quickly. So, the numbers that I've received based on how much... Some butterfly wings could use those in the future. Um, the numbers I've received based on this uh, planting and stuff in the greenhouse. If you harvest everything, you should be able to make 40 potions. Uh, get, and it will give you a minimum profit of 13,000 gold worth of potions. That's with like... I presume that that means... Hey, a bunch of butterflies. I'm going to need these in the future if I decide to enchant stuff. Um, yeah, there's always, uh, these right outside this door. There we go. Should I grab one more for good measure. Um, yeah, minimum profits of 13,000 gold with no, that's, that's presuming no speech, no bonuses, etc. So if we ever really want to level up our, uh, alchemy guys, we're just going to keep stashing all these. And then literally after like a handful of videos and stuff and harvesting like we'll be able to just go from none to absolutely maximum alchemy like 100 alchemy in like two seconds and in doing that you get like a crap ton of character levels and all that stuff i'm actually gonna take all this stuff i might need to make some more vegetable soup at some point i think i'm kind of getting low and isn't uh i thought there was another oh here's another tree over here okay this should give me one extra We'll zip back to, uh, oh, spider. Out of all the things in the wilderness, spiders kind of scare me the most. Too many eyes, you know. All right, we can wait. Uh, I'm going to zip back to my house and just uh, stash some stuff. And then we're going to go back to Isran and, uh, or uh, Gunmar. moonwalking through the walls. Looks like these are ready to harvest. Yeah. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna change all of them at once. Uh-oh. I don't know what's out there, but there's something here. Okay. There we go. Let's get out of here. Let's go inside where it's safe. There's actually a necromancer just down the, the way there, so it could be him creeping around. So, she probably has a couple things in here now. Yeah. Shelf and a bookcase, a strong box, some stuff like that. We'll probably move all our ingredients to one of these satchels or the strong box. Um, none of the planters are here yet, though. Okay. Rhea might be outside killing, uh, fighting those things. So let's stash some stuff here. I'm gonna buy a quieter keyboard someday, guys. I promise. You guys sitting here listening to that. Maybe I'll look into that. Now I got my tax return. Got a few extra bucks. I can buy a quiet keyboard for my recordings. Um, so, let's see here. Yeah, 28. And Skelly Full ETA, we just need 8 of them. And we have 9. Perfection. Perfection. How much Canis Root are we up to, anyways? Just wanna make sure we have a stack of that. Oh, we have 100. Nice. We should, we should go get the uh, Hanging Moss out of uh, Solitude soon. 
What's in here? This is all my smithing stuff, right? I'll just show you guys how it's all sorted out here. It's all my smithing stuff, so bear pelt. Three of those. I gotta get rid of some of those torches. Um, and where'd I put the food? This is gems, right? Food? No, that's all the other stuff. So, like, uh... Stuff that needs to be enchanted and, or disenchanted and whatnot. I don't remember where I put the food. Food? Food? Huh. This barrel? This barrel's got the food in it. Yeah, here we go. Leeks and potatoes. Oh, we got six vegetable soup left. And nine eat our cheese wheels. Um, and we have a cooking pot, right? Nice. Oh, I should have took out the stuff to make the soup. Let me just check what I need anyways. I can never remember vegetable soup. I always take out something I don't need. Cabbage, potato, leek, tomato. I don't think I have any tomatoes. Cabbage, potato, leek, tomato. I only have three tomatoes, yeah. I'm going to get some. Uh-oh. Potato. Leeks. And cabbage. So, yeah, we'll make three more just for now. I'll stock up somewhere. There could probably be some tomatoes in this room somewhere. I just... I don't like to take stuff off the shelves. Oh, yeah, one thing, let's let's put my butterfly in the jar somewhere. Uh, let's try to put it on this table if I can. Actually, um, all these tables are... Oh, I wonder if I can put it on that shelf. Let's do a quick save here before I do this. Where's my butterfly in the jar? Okay, come here. Pick it back up. Alright, uh, whatever. I'll do that sometime off camera, guys. I'll spend time and I'll put that up on the shelf. Um, Golden Claw and the Sapphire Claw can go away. I can't put the Golden Claw actually away. If you guys wondered why I haven't returned the Golden Claw yet, uh, the higher level you are, the bigger reward you get for that. So, uh, it probably won't let me put it away. Yeah. So, I'm just hanging on to it for the time being. We're not, we're not dying for cash. If we were hurting for money, I might, you know, stash it somewhere. But, we're doing alright. I said I wanted to save the gloves. And actually, I could disenchant that, maybe, and that, maybe. Okay. Last thing. Let's go outside, and we'll return. Actually, I wonder if those enemies are still out here. Ray, I might have taken care of them. Put my, uh, I'm going to put these nails in here. And uh, I'm going to drop these three torches out of here. There's an iron ore vein here, too, if you ever need more iron. Just, sorry, guys. Just doing a little clean up here. Oh, there's some bandits. Sorry. I was like, what the hell is this? Oh, you're a chief, eh? You're gonna give me lots of stuff to sell, huh, chief? Easy. Oh, yeah? Come here, Serana. I'm just gonna give Serana a couple things, and... Just to... Prevent, so I'm not weighed down so much. There we go. That's enough. Alright, we're going to go back to the Dawn Guard, return that quest, and we're going to call this video, boys and girls. Alright, guys. Actually, we're not going to return this quest. i got to go, so we're going to return this quest in the next video. Thanks for watching.